Hi everybody! Welcome back. We're doing another partial fractions problem today. This one is going to be uh, pretty long, so stick with me, but I think it's going to be a good example. Uh, the problem is the integral of 4x squared minus 3x minus 4 over x cubed plus x squared minus 2x dx. Okay, so the first thing we want to do since it's partial fractions is factor the denominator. So the denominator, let's go ahead and um, we don't have to write the whole problem again, we'll just focus on the denominator for now. I'm going to pull out an x, so that would give me x squared plus x minus 2, and then you can factor this even further. Um, it's going to be x plus 2 times x minus 1. So when we factor the denominator, I'm going to go ahead, um, since it's going to be a long problem, and save some space by um, putting this back in up here. So x times x plus 2 times x minus 1. Okay, so now that we have factored the bottom of this fraction, um, we want to go ahead and convert, uh, apply the, the partial fraction decomposition to this problem, um, which looks like this. 4x squared minus 3x minus 4 over x times x plus 2 times x minus 1. I just rewrote the problem exactly as it was up here. That's going to be our left-hand side. And then our right-hand side um, looks like this. A over the first term, x, plus b over the second term, x plus 2, plus c over the third term, x minus 1. And if you had more factors in uh, on the bottom here, you could keep going d, e, f. I hope you never have that many terms, but um, a, b, and c, you just put one of them over each of the terms in the bottom. It doesn't matter what a, b, and c are as long as you plug back in correctly for a, b, and c when we end up solving for them later on in the problem. So this is your first step. Um, and then you're going to multiply every single term in this, um, in this equation by this whole denominator, x times x plus 2 times x minus 1. So if you imagine, I'm not going to write it all out because it'll get super tiny and hard to read, but if you multiply this term by x times x plus 2 times x minus 1, the whole uh, bottom of the, of the equation will cancel. And you'll be, en you'll be left with 4x squared minus 3x minus 4, just the top. If you multiply the whole uh, denominator by this term, a over x, the x will cancel, and you'll be left with a times x plus 2 times x minus 1. If you multiply the whole bottom times this term, you'll be left with b times, the, the x plus 2 will cancel, you'll be left with x times x minus 1. And if you multiply the whole bottom times c, this term over here, the x minus 1's will cancel, and you'll be left with x times x plus 2. Um, I would have written it all out this way, but I don't have enough room. So you broke this down into this right here. Um, you could have skipped this step, and what you would have done is the numerator always ends up being the left-hand side. And then since you have three terms in the bottom, as long as you have a times two of them, just pick two, in this case x plus two and x minus one, b times um, two different terms, x and x minus one, and c times the, the other two uh, different terms, x and x plus two, um, that is what you end up with. So there's only three combinations of two terms in this denominator. The first two, uh, the, the first and the last, and the last two, and that's how we've broken this up here. Um, so, now that you have um, this equation, we're going to go ahead and simplify this side over here, 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and leave out um, the left hand side so that we can just focus on the right hand side for now. Um, so let's go ahead and multiply these out. You're going to have a times, uh, what is that, x squared minus x plus 2x is going to be plus 1x minus 2 plus b times x squared minus x plus c times x squared plus 2x. Um, so this is all set equal to this on the, on the left here. Now we're going to go ahead and distribute a, b, and c in this equation. So we're going to have, um, we're going to have, let's just do it this way, a x squared plus a x minus 2a plus b x squared minus b x plus c x squared plus um, c times 2x. Okay, so I multiplied everything out. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and group like terms together. So I'm going to put all the x squareds together, all the x's together, and then everything else. So that's going to look like this. A x squared is that one, plus b x squared, right there, plus c x squared is that. Then, uh, plus, um, now all the, the terms that just have an x. ax minus bx plus c times 2x here. And I'm just crossing these out so I make sure I get every one. And then the only thing that I have left is this 2a. So we'll do minus 2a. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, factor out, let's take this away so that you guys can see. Um, I'm going to factor out the x squared from the first term, the x from the second term. Um, so we're going to set that equal to um, a plus b plus c times x squared, right? See, I pulled out an x squared from each of these um, terms here, and I'm left with a plus b plus c. Then here, um, let's go ahead and say plus, and we have a minus b, sorry, minus b, and then we have c times 2x, so that's actually plus 2c, so that we can pull out an x there. And then, finally, um, minus 2a. So, um, the reason that I did things this way is because um, the left-hand side of the equation here is, is factored the same way. Um, you can see we pulled out x squared, we've got x squared here. We pulled out the x, we've got an x here. Um, what this tells us now, hopefully you can see that the right-hand side of this equation mirrors the left hand side in that um, these three terms represent 1, 2, and 3 here. So what that means is that if these two sides are equal, if this side is equal to this side, then a plus b plus c has to equal 4, because these are both x squared here. a minus b plus 2c has to equal negative 3, because those are the, the coefficients on the x term and negative 2a has to equal negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and write now um, three equations, and then we're going to use simultaneous equations to solve them.